Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everita Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in all your science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding delete duplicate emails using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Oracle, Amazon, Uber and Apple interviews. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below in case you want to check it out. Also, do not worry if you do not have LeetCode Premium subscription. I am going to share this Panda schema in the description box below as well. You can copy it in Jupyter Notebook and try for yourself as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, so we are given a table called person with two different columns, ID and email. ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains an email. The emails will not contain uppercase letters. Okay, we are asked to write a solution to delete all duplicate emails, keeping only one unique email with the smallest ID. Right. So for SQL users, this is not for us. So for pandas users, please note that you are supposed to modify the person's, you know, table or data frame in place. After running your script, the answer shown in the person table, the driver will first compile and run your piece of code and then show the person table. The final order of the person table does not matter. So if we go through this example, right? So here we have three different entries and obviously the reputation is john at example.com, right? So we need to drop these one of these and keep only the one with the smallest ID. So we need to keep one and john at example.com and two bob at example.com. That should be the output. So that is what we have. So here we need to delete or alter the data frame in place right so the first thing that we should do is you know firstly we should uh, sort this table based on id column in ascending order and that should be done in place right so in place sorting so that like here it is already sorted right but once you sort it in ascending order right so you will have id in ascending order and the corresponding email attached with it and when you then drop duplicates and keep first right so wherever you find duplicates and keep the first part of it you are automatically going to keep the email with the smallest id when there is a duplication so what i'm saying is take the person table or data frame and then let's firstly sort values right by which column by id right and it should be in ascending order so by default it is ascending but let's you know uh generalize it so ascending is equal to true and it should be sorting should be done in place right so in place is equal to true right and then what do we need to do is then we need to drop duplicates so person dot drop duplicates right person dot drop duplicates and then from which column you are trying to look at the duplicates because id is a non-null unique values right so primary so there is not going to be any duplication in id so the only column where you can have duplication is email so you need to mention that okay in the email column right so in email you need to find and see the duplicates and if you find duplicates you keep the first one why will this work in our case because we have already sorted this person's data frame in place in ascending order by id so keep first and then in place right so in place is equal to true okay and remember here we need to return none so either you cannot write anything because by default it will return none or to even make it more generalized you can just simply write return none right okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to passes all the test cases yeah so this is accepted as well also i was saying right so even if you don't write this right so if i re remove this and then let me run this i think it should still be accepted right so accepted right and uh, if i go and ahead and submit it so it should be yeah it is accepted as well now some of you might be thinking you know if we can trick this you know uh lead code so because at the end we are returning nothing right so returning none so what if i don't do anything right inside this what if i don't do anything inside this and still directly do return none so here you will understand you know the why this question has this part 
right answer running and compiling running the piece of code etc etc so if i run this now it is going to recognize that and it is going to give you a wrong answer because your output is not performing what they need to do right so that is why you cannot trick <laughs> lead code here right so yeah, uh, this is how we do it. Not a very difficult question. All we did was firstly in place, we sorted by ID, right? The person's table and then we dropped duplicates using the email column, kept the first and the duplicate drop was in place as well. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better solution or more efficient solution you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next videos.